Welcome back to Houston Life. I hope you are ready to be spellbound as Matilda, the musical, heads to Match Houston for six performances. It starts next weekend. Yeah, the cast is so talented. Houston area performers ages 6 through 62, jaw-dropping choreography, and a score that will have you humming along. It is sure to be a show the entire family will love. Laura Kelly, she is so lucky, gets the best assignments, taking us behind the scenes for a little preview this afternoon. Have you cited uh, the Trunchbull yet? <laughs> no, not just yet. But you guys, I am thrilled for you guys to get more information about the show. Next weekend, they've got six performances starting Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Matilda the Musical, and these ladies are a few of the cast members of the show. I know looking at their costumes, you can tell who they are, and we'll get to the two Matildas in just a second. <laughs> Miss Honey, Taylor, I want to start with you. First of all, this is such a great group of people that are a part of this production. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, of course. So, um... We have a very diverse cast, yep. about 63 people. Um, we have a variety of ages, from littles to bigs. Um, some, of, some of our cast members are making their first debut, and then we have a lot of seasoned performers on the stage. Um, we're all just very excited to put on this great show for more Vision Entertainment. And you were telling me before we started this segment that your vocal coach was actually telling you, you know, I see you as a young Miss Honey, and then lo and behold, look at the part that you're in. Yes, yes she did, yes. She was like, this would be a great role for you. And then I stepped into it, and it just fit me like a glove and I couldn't be any more grateful for this opportunity it's really been such an amazing experience for me well we're so excited for you and really quickly also I was just learning that there are 16 songs in this production mm -hmm. it's about two hours long yes. it's gonna be really a great show oh yes for sure we have a lot of great numbers um, a lot of upbeat and happy numbers and then of course we have some drama I think I'm serving some of the drama <laughs> in the show um, served with a side of happiness of course, and of course. fluffiness and feathers and books and stories. <laughs> so yes, I'm very excited to bring Miss Honey to life. And of course, when the kids get on stage to sing, it's just, it transports you into the world of Matilda. And so it's absolutely amazing. We can't wait. Speaking of Matilda, we have two of the lovely Matildas here because they were so great that we couldn't have just one. We have two. Sloane, I'm going to start with you. This is the greatest costume. It's so iconic. Are you happy to be in it? Oh yes, I'm so excited to have this opportunity. Opportunity. Now, for our viewers who are not familiar with Matilda, can you tell us a little bit about what the show's about? Yeah. So, Matilda the Musical follows a brilliant young girl, and she comes from a household that mistreats her, and she's also mistreated by the headmistress of her school, whose name is Miss Trunchbull. Her classroom teacher, Miss Honey, encourages her and supports her to stand up to Miss Trunchbull. And so throughout the show, Matilda teaches us to stand up for what's right and embrace our differences. I love that. You're so great at telling us what that's about. That was fantastic. And now, Olivia, I have to ask, as the other Matilda, you guys are kind of just splitting up the role, right? You'll take one day and Sloan the other. Yeah. But I was asking you before, how long did it take you to memorize all those lines? Um, so we had like two months before we started rehearsal to learn our lines and of course there were still a few little ones that you had to keep working on so it's just you have to learn all the lines and you have to learn all the blocking. Now what do you like most about playing Matilda? Um, I really like that I really like to read just like Matilda and also I really like that she gets to pull pranks when in normal life you couldn't always do that and she just gets to act, sing, dance and do all of it. She gets a really cool job. I think that's a really cool person to be, right? Yes. <laughs> now what is your favorite part of the show, Sloane? Uh, my favorite part, I really like the song Naughty. It's just so exciting and fun. And it's like Matilda's giving advice and inviting the audience into the number. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see it. You guys are so fantastic. How old are you? I'm 12. And how old are you? Nine. With a birthday next week, right before showtime? Yeah. That's amazing. Well, you guys, congratulations so far. Don't go anywhere. Of course, you as well. Taylor, we're going to talk about the costumes that are behind us. Yes. And maybe some of the prop pieces that you guys have on set. For sure. All we right. will. We will also talk about where you can get tickets. I'm going to put a link up, HoustonLife.tv. But don't go anywhere. Tessa and Derek, I'm going to toss it back to you guys in Studio B for right now. Good stuff. It's such a great show. It's such a good story. And did you hear her? She likes to play pranks. She reminds me of someone that I know. I don't know. Pranks and superpowers. <laughs> so that cool. combination goes a long way. So cool. Okay, still to come.
All right, y'all. Matilda the Musical is coming to Matt Houston next weekend. Six shows, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And this is super special because these guys have been rehearsing for months now. It's going to be a great show. 16 musical numbers and a lot of fun on stage. I'm here with two Matilda, Sloan and Olivia, and Miss Honey, Taylor. And today we've been talking a little bit about the show and what fans can expect. But also now we're getting a special look at some of the iconic props used on stage. All right. Taylor, I'm going to start with you because when you look at this, I think pretty much everybody knows what it is. <laughs> yes, of course. Well, here we have Miss Trunchbull's wig. She is the headmistress of Crunchum Hall. And as you can tell by the wig design, um, it's very strict. And she is a very strict headmistress. We have her pigtails uh, into braids and then secured tightly to each side. If there was ever an iconic hairstyle, I think that this is just iconic as some of the other celebrities. Oh, for sure, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right, Sloane, as Matilda, there's one prop that you definitely hang on to throughout a lot of the show, right? Is that this one? Yes, it's this book. And is there a specific book that you're, you're reading right here? There's not really a specific one. It's really just any book that we read throughout the entire show. It's just... because Matilda loves to read and she's such a bookworm, right? Right. It's whatever Matilda's interested in. And so how long do you think that you hold on to this prop for most of the show? We hold it in most of the Wormwood scenes at the house and a little bit at school. But then you go to the naughty scene, right, Olivia? And that's where you take what you have in your hands. Yeah, so in the naughty scene, they happen to go into the parents' bedroom to teach her dad a lesson, and she mixes some this bottle with this bottle to make her dad's hair turn an interesting color. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep that in my imagination. To what, what color is it? Green. Green. <laughs> yeah, bleach and uh, olive oil, that looks like it'll do that. <laughs> yeah. That's one of your favorite scenes, though, right? Oh, yeah. I can see why. Look at this little mischievous face. I love it. All right, so let's move on from the props. Taylor, let's start with you here. Can you show us a few of these costumes? Because I'm looking at some, and I can definitely recognize where I've seen some of these, even if in the movie you've seen the movie, right? Yes, for sure. Um, here we have Miss Trunchbull's uniform. Yep. As you can see, it's very militaristic. We've got some heavy cloth and of course some leather she does not play around at all um, <laughs> and I think my Matildas can attest to that yes. for sure okay what else um of course this show's very colorful we have our librarian Miss Phelps okay. um and we've got some very beautiful colorful patterns for her and she's quite the storyteller isn't she girls uh, yeah. oh yeah <laughs> the story. oh. Matildas are the storytellers well, I love all the colors, and I love all the vibrant things, all the polka dots over here. And then you have this military green, which obviously belongs to the most strictest person in the show. Yes. Um, I want our viewers to know where they can get information. The guy in charge of this one, Monroe Moore, come on over here. You are the director of this show, and I want to make sure that people know where they can get tickets. You tell us where. Tickets at www.morevisionentertainment.com. We have six performances. We're excited to have you come on in. And you've got a fantastic cast right here. I am very proud of these, this cast, an amazing cast from all over the city. Well, thank you guys so much for the preview. I love the naughty Matilda. I love the bookworm Matilda. I love Miss Honey and Monroe. Thank you for sharing thank the you. cast with us today. Mm -hmm. Derek and Tessa, I'm going to put a link up as well at HoustonLife.tv, but you don't want to miss it. Matilda the Musical at Match Theater next weekend. And congratulations guys break a leg when you go to the show thank you <laughs> how fun is this it's good stuff that trunch bowl i'm still looking for her, though <laughs> no no trunch <laughs> no bowl on a trunch thursday bowl. okay we're, we're miss honey vibes today <laughs> miss honey they're, she is perfect for that role it's a great great talented actors in that cast they're gonna do awesome okay when we come